Besides sitting together in the House chamber, some members of Congress actually stuck to the bipartisan spirit of the State of the Union speech. I certainly liked how he, he talked so repeatedly about the men and women in uniform and what they've done, how for all the high price paid in Iraq, Iraq is better, we are better and safer because of the sacrifices made. Last month, I went to Andrews Air Force Base and welcomed home some of our last troops to serve in Iraq. I don't think that the speech was as partisan or as populist as was uh, expected, uh, but uh, the president's going to, in his speech, uh, reflect his policies and his policies on on uh, on trade, uh, in particular, policies I disagree with. A lot of the things that he said, if you close your eyes and don't look around you, uh, it sounds great. I'm a Democrat, but I believe what Republican Abraham Lincoln believed. The government should do for people only what they cannot do better by themselves and no more. There's a loud cheer to say, that's what we want to hear more of that the government has a role. There is a right role for government. There is a right role for regulation. But others stayed true to form. Well, you know, I took notes. Uh, they, they gave uh, copies of the speech to most of the Democrats. Uh, most presidents are a little more bipartisan and give uh, copies to both sides. I am confident that uh, in every state people can see the uh, job-killing programs that the president has proposed to propose new taxes tonight uh, and, and to sugarcoat it. Uh, truly is uh, destroying jobs. I thought he hit it out of the park. The president uh, was loose. Uh, he tried to tell a joke. We got rid of one rule from 40 years ago that could have forced some dairy farmers to spend $10,000 a year proving that they could contain a spill. With a rule like that, I guess it was worth crying over spilled milk. But I think, in terms of substance, the president uh, repeatedly called uh, for members of Congress not to waste another year. There is no challenge too great, no mission too hard. As long as we are joined in common purpose, as long as we maintain our common resolve, our journey moves forward, and our future is hopeful, and the state of our union will always be strong. Thank you. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America.